values um, that we used in service area. So volume is kind of how much it would take to fill the shape. So if we had a box of cereal that kind of looked like this image here, um, what, how much cereal, what is the volume inside the box? How much cereal could it hold essentially? Um, so we have to determine our width, our length, and our height. And actually volume is going to be a lot simpler than surface area was. So we have a width, let me go ahead and width, height, length. So width of four, length of 11, height. Yeah. So we are going to go ahead and say volume equals width times height times length. So four times 11 times 19. We just multiply them all together. Does it matter which order you go in on these? So that would give us 836 inches cubed because it's a volume. So we have, we need our width, our length, and our height. So for this one, it's going to be seven times seven times five. So seven, seven, five. So volume equals seven times seven times five. So if we take seven times seven times five, that will give us a volume of 245 yards cubed. Let's look at this page. So on this one, again, height, width, length, doesn't matter which order you go in. So we have 10, we have four, and we have 17. So volume equals 10 times four times 17, which will give us a volume 680 meters cubed. Same thing each time. So on this one, length, height, width. So width equals two, length equals two, height equals two. So volume, it's 2 times 2 times 2, which will give us a volume of 8 meters cubed. All right, so go ahead and try these next few on your own. these. So you had to identify your width, your height, and your length. So we have a width, we have a length, we have a height. So width equals 4, length equals 5.1, height equals 9. So this volume is 4 times 5.1 times 9. You should have gotten 183.6 centimeters cubed. All right, so let's look at this one. We have a width of two, length of four, height of 7.5. So width equals two, length equals four, height equals 7.5. So we're gonna say two times four times 7.5. And that will give us a volume of 60 inches cubed. All right, last one. So we have six, five, and seven. So width is six, length is five, height is seven. So volume equals six times five times seven. 
and that'll mean 210 centimeters cubed. And that'll be the end of volume of our cubes and rectangular prisms.